Hey there, fellow interwebbers and nanners. Aliana Banana here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. On this episode of Beauty by a Brown Eyed Girl, we are going to do a video that I've wanted to do for a long time, the day to night makeup. So as you can tell, I have a full makeup on here and actually I'm a little, I'm a little anxious to make this video because I'm having a really, really good makeup day. So ironically, I'm in a sweatshirt, but we are going to be turning this day look into a night look. So stick around and check it out. So we're gonna hop right in. I'm going to go ahead and strengthen up my contour with a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the light contour kit. And we are going to be using these two shades, the cool tone and the slightly darker warm tone bronzy shade. So I'm going to go ahead and use the real technique and perhaps I'll use the um, fluffier brush for a little bit more blending because this, it's pretty, it's pretty dense. And again, it's not about so much making this darker as it is sharper, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to use the excess on my jawbone and my nose. Okay, and then I am just going to use that fluffy brush, clean, and only the cool tone color and just soften the whole thing up. I'm gonna use this Tarte brush that came with the BB Tinted Under Eye Concealer from Tarte. I love this brush. And I'm gonna go right ahead into the lightest color here, which you can see I hit pan, the skin tone, and the this one here, which is a little bit of a highlight, it has a little bit of a reflect in it, and just bring it down the center of the nose. We're also going to take a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This is in Neutral Buff, same brush, little bit of product, just a little bit of product, and we're going to just go right under the eye. Okay, and this is going to help define the nose as well as just brighten, ensure the brightness of that under eye area. I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush from the Unicorn, the Koshin Amazon Unicorn brushes, this guy here, and dip it in that, again, cool toned right there, contour color, all using this Anastasia kit, and we're going to start to carve out the nose. And then there's Makeup Revolution London, the matte blush, the front looks like this. This is a great color. This is New Rules. Look at that freaking, that is a gorgeous color. This blush is highly pigmented, so pigmented, highly pigmented, but when you pick up the powder, it doesn't want to blend or distribute. It wants to sit wherever you put it. Oh, can you see all that kick up? And you can see there's a lot of product on this brush. Right, so you try to tap some of it off. And then you have to kind of put the blush just on the top layer of the skin and then use that fluffy brush to kind of blend it out and make it normal. So to do the eye look, I really want to use a handful of eyeshadow colors at most and then some black eyeliner to kind of make it more dramatic. But honestly, I'm going to rely on the lip to make this like sultry and amazing. Urban Decay Naked 2 palette we're going to dip into. We are also going to dip into the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. I'm gonna use my creme brulee. There she is, creme brulee right there from Makeup Geek. And that's gonna be the transition color. So we're gonna actually go ahead and start with that one. So first things first, the Naked 2 palette. I'm gonna use Foxy, which is that bone color, and that is just for a full eyelid prime, mainly under the brow bone, okay? 
Then I want to use that Creme Brulee Makeup Geek color. Okay, and yes, I brought it up high again. Partially hooded eyelids. Okay, and I'm kind of building the eye shape here, but very subtly. So now we're gonna use my favorite color. We're gonna switch back to the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And we're going to use my favorite color from this palette ever. And as you can see, it's completely worn down right here. And this is called Tease. And that along with this color Myth up here, the mix of those two colors is gonna create the kind of perfect nude, neutral, color. Now what I want to do is make it look like I've got a fierce eyelid, you know, like, like, shapow. I'm going to use this little rounded kind of pointy brush from that Amazon collection. And then this is a Beauty 360 eyeshadow brush. You see this little fluff? It's almost the same thing, but it's a little bit fluffier. Whereas this one's a little bit, it's a little bit more dense. So we're going to use the dense one to apply the color and we're going to use the fluffy one to blend it out. So I'm going to start with Myth because it is the lighter of the two. That way we can build on top of it. And I am just going right in to my crease. Fold in the skin of my eyelid, of your eyelid is not the same as the crease. The crease, see that, is your eye socket. That's what I'm following. So now I'm going into that color tease. The other thing you can do is bring this right along the bottom. I want to use Myth, and I'm also going to use a shimmer color from the Make Believe You're In Yourself palette. And it is that dark brown color right here next to Myth called Magic. Okay, so a little bit of magic, a little bit of tease, and we're gonna go right on the bottom. Okay, and that just kind of smokes it out and brings it all together. Okay, so now we're just gonna repeat everything on the left eye tighter pointier moving into you got it I'm just gonna do it I will we'll catch up later a second now without picking up any more product we are going to use the fluffy brush we were using originally originally which may still have some of the creme brulee on it that's okay it's kind of what we want and we are just going to try to soften our edges here And for good measure, one more time with the edge of the brush into Foxy, that Urban Decay bonish color. And just sharpening under the brow. The last thing that I wanna do is really highlight the lid. And I'm going to do that in two ways. And remember, I said I wanted to use a handful of colors of eyeshadow for this look. So far, we have used one, two, three, four. We're gonna end up using six. I can feel it. You're gonna take a precise brush. So I'm going to be using the Shaney, it's actually a concealer brush, the F70 concealer brush. You see? And I'm going to use this to kind of pack color on the lid. We want to extend the eyelid a little bit. And I'm going to be using my second favorite color as you can see in this palette, the only other color I have hit pan on. Okay, again, so we're going to be using the color Booty Call, which is that, it has a slight reflect in it, pink, and we're just going to kind of further define our eyelid. So you can see it just kind of lit up the eyelid a little bit call this taking back the eyelid. Okay, so we are going to use the color Trance from the Tarte palette as our metallic eye highlight. And that is this guy, I don't know if you can see it down here. It's like a, 
a mauve with silver in it. That's this guy right here. Up to so I'm going to use my finger. My nails are actually gone so I can just dip right in. So I just dipped in with my finger there and I'm just going to put it right on the eyelid. And then I'm going to do a little on the inner corner. All right, so now that we have the eyeshadow on, we want to go in with the eyeliner. Now, unfortunately, the one that I use all the time, my tried and true, which is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D, um, it's out. Pray to the eyeliner gods. We're gonna try to suck whatever is out of that tattoo liner, or maybe the steel of waterproof one, but we're not. We're not messing with those. That will destroy our whole look. This is amazing. So even with this thing being like out of product, it's working better. That's disappointing. It's funny too because that's mainly disappointing because e.l.f. products have been so like on point that I just assumed this one would be too. It would appear that that one actually has no more, so switching again to the Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Let's see if we can't just sharpen. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to redefine the lashes. Lash Paradise. I'm going to warm it up for a little bit before we put it on. I am going to use this nude Rimmel pencil. Actually, you know what? Let's use white. We used nude for the natural look. This is another Rimmel pencil. I seem to like them. And this is going to go in the lower waterline. So we're going to take that mascara. Again, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but I'll link everything used down below. Okay, now if you really wanted to turn this into like a super sultry night look, you could of course add eyelashes. To finish up, we're gonna do our highlight and our lips. To do our highlight, we are going to use a couple of my favorites. I'm gonna use two different highlights. The first is the highlight that comes with the Tarte Make Believe Yourself palette. That's the guy in the center. And then there is the e.l.f. Baked Highlight. This is Moonlight Pearls. So we're going to use the e.l.f. exclusively on areas of my face um, that are a little bit more delicate. So we're going to use a sharp angled eyeshadow brush and we're going to take the e.l.f. and do under the eyebrows. We're going to do down the nose. We are going to do the cupid's bow, and I'm going to add a healthy amount to my cupid's bow because when we do the lips, I do overdraw. So you wanna make sure you still got the highlight. So now to go into the tart. I don't know how else to say this, except be really, really delicate. It's very pigmented for a highlighter and you can go way too far, way too fast. So just a little, Dip. Is this a lot of highlighter? Do I care? Okay, last thing are the lips. For the outline of my lip, I am going to use Jeffree Star's Designer Blood. So I have my adorable little MAC Bullet Lip Brush. This is the 316, right little little guy and this is what I am going to apply designer blood with so I'm just gonna take it directly off of the wand here and go right in don't worry about the rest of the lip just worry about getting your line in Okay, 
Now, to make this a true ombre, we want to darken the outer corners of the lip. So that's what we're going to do. Give it depth. Then we are going to go in with the Anastasia American Doll. You want to blend, start blending the edges in so it doesn't look like the 1990s. And then the last thing to do is to take the, we're using Kat Von D, and this is an underage red, check the teeth, and in the center. And honestly, the way to make this ombre look seamless is to just get in there with your finger and blend it out. And I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus All Day Wear setting spray looks like this is a cute little top that's the look from day to naughty so again go ahead and check out the other video the first video where we created the day look and then come and check out how we turned it into this kind of a little bit more sultry night look i wish we could have done the big cat wing but Life. So again, this is Aliana Banana. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of Beauty by a Brown Eyed Girl. Don't forget to like this video and click that subscribe button. Somewhere you'll see my face floating around here. Click on my face. It'll help you subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. I put out videos every week. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.